So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how I choose the rice skin shadows for my cartoon works. So in this video, I'm addressing that issue of picking the rice skin shadows for your cartoons. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to look at how to pick the rice skin shadows for your cartoons. Any color at all. Any color. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I made this avatar profile some months ago and then I decided to continue but I'm going to use this as the main reference in picking the skin shadows and stuff like that. Okay, so if you want to see the full video on this, please drop a comment. In the comment section below i'll try and do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys okay so let's see how we get it. so i get a lot of layers over here but this one is the main skin tone that is the main skin the body the main body for example this one also is one of the few ones of the attar that is the red one and this is the white one okay so what you do in the first place is that you set your main body that is the main skin over here and then that one you decide on the color that you are using that one if you want to simply get the color you can pick the eye dropper over here and then reference it from your main picture that one you have to decide on on your own but then even if you don't like the color that you are getting you can still come down and look for any color that will be suitable for you so when you're done you click ok so in this case, I'm using this main this color as my reference since my picture is way darker. The skin shadows that we're going to apply on this will be much more darker than the color that we are using now. So we have our main body. What do we do next? You come over here and then you click on create a new layer on top of this one. And then you name that one shadows. So that is the one that we are going to apply the shadows on. So the next thing you do is you go back for your eyedropper tool, select the color that you've chosen for your main body and then you go and double click on the color palette over here. So we have our main color to be here. What we're going to do is that we're going to select a color way darker than the one that we are using. So in this case, you don't go right down like this. You go the vertical way, right? So you can come this side or that way. So immediately you're going to see that there is a difference between the current one and the new one that you've chosen. Right. So you click OK. Now the next thing that you have to also take note of is the brush setting. So you go to your brush and then you make sure that you have your hardness to be zero. If you are using any of the main round brushes, so you select that one and then you decrease the hardness to zero percent next you have to take care of the opacity and then the flow i will advise you don't go much more than 30 percent because it makes your work or your brushing not that soft right so you can stick to around 10 to 30 percent anyway depending on the picture that you are applying the shadows on so in this case i'm using 18 and i think it's okay so what you do is that you start to brush. We just experiment in this. So assuming I start to brush off this area. Okay, so I've applied some kind of shadows on this. So let's turn the shadows off so you can see the difference here, right? Now, what you do is that you go to the shadows layer and then you right click and you go to create clip masking. So basically everything that we are applying on the shadow layer will be clip mask straight into the main body so you don't need to be deleting stuffs again you don't need to be worrying about it overflowing like it is currently like this so you go to create the clip masking and everything even if you are painting here since it is not within the perimeters of the main body it will not be working on it but then if you decide to come and paint over here it would affect it so that is a very great tip that you have to take notice of now in case you want to assuming you want to differentiate between the head 
as from this area and the neck there is a simple way out but then that one you have to strengthen the hardness of your brush so that one you can go beyond 60 percent okay so let me turn on my main reference source and then go back to my shadows so i'm going to pick my pen tool and make sure that i have here to be on path right so assuming i start from here and then i try to draw like this so it's basically going to differentiate the two let's let's assume we have it like this so let's turn this one also off okay so let's go back to our brush tool and then this time around we are not going to need the huge size so we want to set a size that will be way smaller like this okay so you just decide on the the brush size that will be suitable for that will be suitable for your picture okay so let me increase the flow to about 86 percent and if i decide to paint right now you can see how the flow is working okay so let me turn this off and then go back to your pen tool right click and go to stroke path so you make sure that the tool over here you have the brush and then you click ok so if you turn or you delete the path and then you zoom in very well you can see what we are having now so if it's still not showing that much for you you can still use ctrl alt and then z if you are in cc 2019 you just use ctrl z and then you increase your opacity also so let's say this one to 40 percent and then you go for your pen tool right click and then stroke path so okay and then you delete the path so this time around you can see that we have a very different like you are differentiating between the head over here and that of the neck and we made that using the same color that we used in creating the shadows so you can basically do all the necessary painting like that of this side if you want to make it a bit darker you just go for your brush tool and then on the shadows layer you can be doing the brushing over there switching between your flow and your opacity and your brush size so it's just a matter of figuring out where you have the dark skin like the dark areas and where you have the soft areas on the other hand if you want to go let's say way bigger assuming we've painted here very dark and then we want to go way lighter we just have to pick from this side the color palette we go a bit up like that and then you increase your brush size like this and then you can paint it back off so you see how it works so that is it um, i hope that will be all for now i'll try as much as possible to do much more of these videos uh, as it will benefit you on how to paint your cartoons thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then um, i'll get back to you with another one so it's innocent here bye